The Eagle Drilling Estevan Bruins won their fifth straight hockey game last night with a come-from-behind 6-5 triumph over the Battleford's North Stars at the Civic Auditorium. Before the puck drop, Bruins forward Ryan Anderson was honoured by the SJHL with the Sherwood Conference Player of the Week award. Anderson had two goals and three assists to lead all SJHL players in scoring for the week of October 26th to November 2nd. Anderson's award was somewhat of a sign of things to come during the game against the Stars as he and Dylan Smith put forth excellent offensive performances. It was Battlefords who got on the board first, however, as Stars forward Tim Rollins beat Joel Daniluk to give his team a 1-0 lead after the first period of play. Esteban evened things up halfway through the second period when Dylan Smith found the back of the net for his seventh goal of the year. The North Stars then reclaimed the lead on tallies by Kyle Hall and Shane Morrissey in just under three minutes to make it 3-1 for the visitors. The Bruins got back within one on the power play with less than two minutes remaining in the middle frame as Smith notched his second of the evening. Esteban was then able to tie the hockey game once again early in the third period as Anderson bulged the twine to make it 3-3. The Bruins found themselves trailing once again after the Stars made it 4-3, but the Smith and Anderson show continued shortly after as the two snipers each scored to give the Bruins their first lead of the contest. Smith made it 4-all with his third of the night, and then Anderson put Estevan in front with his second. Battleford was able to tie it one more time on a marker by Cody Folstad at the 317 mark. Anderson was not about to let the win slip away though, he grabbed the puck in the final minute, burst into the star zone on a one on four, and somehow outmuscled the defenders before snapping home his third goal of the evening to secure the Bruins' victory. The line of Smith, Anderson and Mark Cross combined for 14 points in the win. For Anderson it was his third hat-trick of the season and all three have come in the third period. Estevan's record is now 12-5-1-1, one one, good enough for second place in the Sherwood Conference, three points behind Yorkton with four games in hand. The Bruins and Terriers will meet this Friday in Yorkton at Feral Agencies Arena before Estevan returns home to take on the LaRange Ice Wolves on Sunday at 6 p.m. For the EstevanMercury.ca, I'm Daniel Hendrickson.